Hello and a very warm welcome back to Tony Northeastern. And what we see in front of you is the gasometer. Um, when we left off last time, um, this gasometer was in two bits. The steelwork was separated from the main tank. Now then, since then I have painted all the steelwork in a satin white and the walkway around the midrift is in metallic silver. Um, I have painted a concrete um, with a grey um, which is a humble really dark grey so it gives it the concrete look and uh, I've weathered it using a humbrel dark green wash um, you normally pick that up in, in the bottles and as you can see I've very only lightly put it on um, if I bring this uh, closer to you you could probably just make out um, the rivets just make out the rivets because I've, I've, what I've done is when I was applying it I was using a brush and dabbing it on a bit of kitchen towel and just rubbing it in virtually dry and just so I could highlight the rivets, especially around the top around the top there. Right, the roof itself, I've done that the same, that's all uh, green wash. Uh, it's a bit dirtier than what the top would be. Um, the sides would be. And obviously you've got the rainwater wash running down the sides there. So that's the gasometer finished and it will be sitting over there. And that will be its new resting place when, when the back scene's all done. I'm still humming and ahhing what to do on the back scene. But let me show you what I've been doing so far. Right, I've rerouted the road. Um, it did come virtually close to this area here where a wall is going to go. And I, it was an S shape, but now it's virtually straight along following the houses. Um, I kept the T junction, that'll still be there. And if we come further back away from the T junction, I've been putting in a level crossing. Um, I'm going to do all this work before the upper level goes on. Um, all I've done here is I've used PVA mixed in with um, polyfiller. And it's, that has gone rock hard. That was done oh, a couple of nights ago. So all I've got to do now is rub that down and paint it the same colour as the road and that'll that be finished and what I'm going to do in between the rails here I'm going to use some wills planking um, to go in between the rails and that'll finish that off nicely so today is where are we we're Friday evening now so I've got two or three hours up here this evening so I shall rub that down and paint the road in and have a look through my common handy box and see if I've got any of that wheels planking left over from when I did the um, level crossing over at um, High Shields. Right, so we'll leave it there and we'll see where we go. Okay, as you can see I've just been doing some um, trees there. Um, see, I've got a background there to start with and Basically, you can more or less see through those trees. So, I'll just quickly show you a tree, a translucent tree. Okay, that's the area I'm going to do. Um, basically, all I'm using is very cheap acrylic paints and uh, First of all, you've got to start with the the trunk. So you use a little bit of dark mixture, a little bit of black and green, just to form 
the main trunk. So I just dab it on. There's the main trunk going up, splitting up a few places. Right, that's the main trunk. Basically, then you just use a splodgeon of green, but try and put as little on the brush as possible. So I do, I've got the edge of the jar and I just dab it on the edge of the jar just to take the paint off. Using the same brush of course and then just lightly just press it on. And you can see straight away you've got the makings of a tree. Well, I want to change the leaves a little bit here, so I'm just going to have a tiny touch of white, dab it into the green on the edge of your jar, and then just add some white leaves. So this would be like a birch tree, I don't just, just lightly. If you think you're adding too much white, then just add a tiny touch more on the green. Take some of that white away. Right, there you go. There you have it. Easy peasy. Okay, that's the tree we've just done, but just by changing the tone of colour, like that one I've added a little bit more um, yellow, and that one I've added uh, a darker green, just by just changing the tone a little bit, you just end up with different colour trees. The visual effect looks quite stunning from a distance. Just thought I'd show you that quick tip. Right, uh, a while back I did a video on making this stone walling out of cork strips you get from uh, your local DIY stores. Um, I think it was Wix I got it from originally and I'm just showing you this because I'm going to be using some of this for the back scene um, between Tyne Dock and Pilo Junction and uh, I've pre-painted it. Now I don't want to use a full length uh, both sides so what I've done is I've split it down the middle to get two lengths because what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick that side onto the baseboard. Just going to run along this edge here a little bit of um, greenery. So I'll just put a bit of BVA glue along there and a little bit of grass um, along there and then I can stick it onto the wall. Okay, I've just got a little bit of PV on the brush and I'm just going to catch that bottom corner. A little bit of PVA all the way along that edge. Right, this is the stuff I'm using. Coarse turf. 
Just using my fingers, just slightly press, pressing it on. Keeping the lid underneath so it catches any loose bits. And just give it a jump. Okay, so it looks something like that. And then once that's glued, glued onto the back seat, well, I'll just look with business. So he says. Right, I shall continue this and then get back to you later. Okay I have glued the stone wall in to the back of the ceiling board now and it's looking very effective now. Um, I have added a little farmer's gate in the middle there which I made up from bits of old um, scrap plastic left over from kits and the wall continues all the way down to the back scene there where the houses are. Uh, here is the new road with the level crossing goes across underneath the supports there And there's the back seam virtually completed now. Still got a little bit more left to do there. But just by painting a few trees and adding a little bit of um, foliage really changes this area. So the next task will be to put a paving along that wall that's been fitted there and then um, maybe concentrate on doing this upper level. So I think that's all we've got time for this week, but we're getting there. As you can see I've got a piece of timber there already pre-bent for the wall along the tracks. Okay, that's all for this week. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. And we'll catch you next time. Bye.